Hey everybody, how are you? This is Dr. Michelle Bankson with another hope-filled perspective. Today I wanted to take just a couple minutes to talk about the fact that being cheerful helps our health. So, kind of a different topic for me, but I thought that it warranted discussion. Who's there? Hey Sharon! Oh my goodness, good to see you. Hi Kim and Peg and Julie. So today we are talking about the fact that being cheerful helps your health. I don't know about you, but I find it pretty easy to lapse into grumbling, complaining, murmuring when things don't go well. And over the years, I have found that I have less of a tolerance for that. Like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be around that. I don't want to listen to that. Um, and recently, I was visiting with a friend. And a lot of my friends and um, fellow church members fast in January. And she and I were talking about this. And she said that she had decided um, to fast complaining and negativity and I was just struck with what a great idea that was and she was sharing that she had another family member who decided to join her on that but found that when she went to work it was really difficult and I thought about that and I thought well you know um, sometimes when we're at work we're, we have to deal with difficult personalities and in my line of work um, I have to deal with people coming in and grumbling and complaining. Um, for me, that's job security. But on the other hand, there's a whole nother way to live. And I have thought over the years that I wonder how much different our quality of life would be if we would not grumble and not complain. And so I went home and I told my husband about what this friend was doing. And he and I were both on board. We thought, yeah. We need to do that. And I remember this friend saying, you know, it's hard, but it wouldn't really be a fast if it was easy to give up something. You know, in years past, I have given up food or I've given up select types of food like chocolate or caffeine or whatever, sweets. And my children have given up things like um, electronics. And that was really hard for them. And I thought, well, how hard would it be to give up grumbling and complaining and negativity. But there's a benefit to it. You know, when when we are so saturated with all the negative in the world, it can breed anxiety and it can rob us of our peace. And I really want this year to live in a greater sense of peace. And part of how we do that is by deciding we're not going to worry, we're not going to fear, we're not going to get anxious about things. But when we grumble and we complain, we're rehearsing the negative and we're speaking negative into our life. And the enemy takes advantage of that. I have a very good friend and she and I challenge each other quite frequently about our words, about not speaking things over us, whether it's, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to sleep tonight, or, you know, I don't know how it's going to go at the office today. And we will challenge each other to speak only the positive over our life because that's what God wants for us. So I thought a lot about this grumbling and complaining and negativity because as I was in the office this week, it just seems like sometimes it's easier for people to go there than to think about all the ways they are blessed. Today, I woke up and I woke up with a migraine and it was real easy to go, oh, not again. But then the Lord challenged me and said, Michelle, think of all the things you have to be blessed for. Think of all the ways I've blessed you. So as a reminder today, I put on my socks. I don't know if you can see it, it's probably backwards to you, but it says, I am blessed and on the bottom, it says blessed. So as I look down, I'm constantly reminded, yes, I'm blessed. It doesn't matter what negative things are going on. I have so much more that I can be thankful for. And I was reading in Proverbs 17, 
and it says, being cheerful makes you healthy. It is slow death to be gloomy all the time. It's in his word. Being cheerful helps our health, but it is slow death to be gloomy all the time. So your hope-filled perspective today is that being cheerful actually helps your health. It's scriptural. It's in Proverbs 17, 22? Yeah, Proverbs 17, 22. So I would challenge you today when the negative things assault you, because they will, especially when you're trying to be cheerful, to counter that with all the things that you are thankful for. When those negative thoughts come, say, no, I'm going to refuse to entertain them and I'm going to be positive. So that is your hope-filled perspective. Hey, Susan, it's good to see you. And Erica, Peg. So today, as you go about your day, I pray that you will have a hope-filled, cheerful day. Until next time, this is Dr. Michelle Bankson with your hope-filled perspective. Make it a hope-filled day. Bye, everybody.